Good to go. Okay. Okay. Over your long historic story career, you have entertained many guests in your studio. Can you just tell me about some of these guests? Who were some of the funniest? Who were some of the most insightful? Uh, entertain them. I think sometimes they've entertained me. Now, obviously, back in the days when I worked in Singapore, I had uh, Chevy Singh, the one and only, working on Football Focus with Steve McMahon. And when those two argued, it was brilliant. I didn't have to do any work. I just sat back. Since I've been working over in England, Andy Townsend's been my main uh, partner in crime. He's insightful. He's entertaining. But when it comes to funny stuff. Uh, um, Emmanuel Petit, uh, he tripped me up a little bit last season. We were talking live on air about one of his teammates, Patrick Vieira, and he said something that really should never have gone on TV. But what do you do? You just apologize and move on. Uh, over the many years you've presented the Premier League, I'm sure you've come across many players names and some of them might have been very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> uh, was there any time you have skipped out any or any incident like that happened on live TV? You know, it's really funny, but you, you get these players that arrive maybe from Eastern European countries, uh, Russia or what have you, and you think that one's going to be a nightmare but by and large even someone like Wojciech Szczesny you, you you learn them and you get it figured out and I don't seem to have a problem with that but curiously enough the one that trips me up regularly and others is Wayne Rooney maybe it's just the W and the R but the amount of times people say Wayne Rooney and, and you correct yourself and go I can't believe I've said that honestly everyone does it okay speaking of the main names pronunciation I have some names on hand on my phone so if you just could take some time and try your luck and pronounce it and see how it goes what are you doing to me what are you doing <laughs> To me. So I'm going to say these. So you can say the player oh. in which country they're from. Okay, Hungary, Gogo Lovrencic. Iceland, Arno Ingvi Trusteson. Italy, Emanuele Giacchini. Poland, Gregor Krikowiak. Switzerland, Blerim Gemali. Actually, it's pretty good. Actually, you got three. The last three out of the five, right? The first two, <laughs> the first two were the good attempts. Would you like to know how the first two are pronounced? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, yeah, these are the actual. Alright, so this phonetics, actually would have yeah. been. Phonetically, that would have been. Oh, right, okay. Jurgo Lovrencic. Okay, I mean, that's complicated. Arno Envitoristasen. <laughs> you know, those names were amazing. I was lucky enough to watch Iceland play in the Euros and they were wonderful, no matter how you say their names. Practice makes both guys. Yep, absolutely. And, and I'll be commentating a lot on Singtel TV this season, so I better get them right. <laughs> and just one last question, I mean, with such a long, decorated story career, uh, do you think perhaps that someone is out there who can replace you, take your mental, maybe there's someone that can <laughs> be your successor, you feel? Well, I don't think we worry about stuff like that. Uh, I'm working on a content service and we have something like 10 to 20 different presenters working on it. So it's not a question of someone taking my place or anything like that. Uh, you will see on Singtel TV this season a whole variety of different faces. Young, old, male, female, all sorts of people and hopefully they'll be to your liking. So it's not all about me. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Yeah.